Sini, sini. Para labu ke. Uh, uh. So, here's the deal. I'm working on the scooter for a number of months. Got to get her back on the road fully. And I uh, installed the big bore kit on it. It's running, but it definitely needs to be tuned. So I am driving this, well, not driving it. I don't want to drive it on an off tune. I'm bringing this down today to tune it. So getting ready to load it in the back of the truck here, strap it down. We're gonna go find a scooter shop. We're gonna to talk to a couple different scooter shops today, find out who I think is capable of tuning this properly with a big bore kit on it. Um, it was a 150cc, now it's a 180cc, and um, it also has a jetted carb on it now, and it's running a little rough, uh, but with that being said, it's running rough because it doesn't have a good solid tune, so I've been kind of putting off riding it until I can get it tuned, it's just sitting out here collecting dust, I think it's time to bring her down, so that's what we're going to do, in the back of the truck she goes! I'm all loaded up. I gotta stop to see my buddy Randy. Make sure all this is tight in the back here. Should be good. I'm trying to figure out a system that works best for me. This shouldn't go anywhere. This is this is on there pretty good. It's shaking the whole truck, so it's definitely seated well. Brought the board, so we need to go find a shop, talk to a few shops, find out who I think is capable of actually doing the job properly. And the way you find out those beautiful things is that you ask questions. It's being somebody who's worked on these, I can tell someone who doesn't really work on these and who does, a lot of these scooter businesses will tell you that they know what they're doing. With a quick conversation, if you've done any of your own research, you can find out the ones that are lying to you and are just trying to get you for your buck. And you can find out the ones that are being honest with you. So let's go talk to a few scooter shops, see what we think. Now before you bring a scooter in to have it tuned, you want to make sure you have the right fuel in it. In this case, scooters, all scooters, doesn't matter what scooter, if it's a Chinese scooter, run ethanol free fuel. It will keep the carburetors from being gummed up. It will save you a lot of problems in, in, in the future, trust me. Um, you also want to tune to the fuel that you'll be using. So in this case, I'm going to be using ethanol free. I'm probably going to be buying the majority of my fuel from the same exact gas station. So with that being the case, we're going to go fill up at the gas station. It'll most likely see often. Whenever you're getting gas for your scooter, yes, it costs more. It's about on power with premium. Most of your premiums and supers, but ethanol free gas will definitely keep your carburetors on these things in really, really good shape. You can let them sit for long, long periods of time without clogging up the carburetor. So that's why you go with ethanol free. It also burns a lot better. So let me uh, fill this up, see you in a sec. To fill it completely up to get 200 miles, I get two gallons of gas basically. Uh, 1.5 uh, so this on five dollars will go 150 miles uh, on one tank of fuel so pretty impressive maybe not now after the big bore kit but fairly close to that I'm gonna circulate some of the gas into the tank I think I ran this completely out of fuel yesterday when I was testing so we're gonna hold the brake down yeah she was out of fuel 
There we go. She's got fuel now. Let her run for a minute. Oh boy. I have to sit on this for a sec. That battery's, uh, the starter's getting pretty weak. I'm gonna need to order a starter for this. We did a lot of testing. We were trying to get this thing cranked up for the first time, so unfortunately, uh, yeah. So, well, that smells a lot better on that fuel, that's for sure. Let her warm up for a sec, charge the battery a little bit. And I know these guys are gonna wanna start it up, listen to it, and test it. It's amazing how much better it runs on the right fuel. It almost doesn't need to be tuned with this fuel on it. It's very snappy. It's very uh, engaged. However, if you heard that little sputter, it definitely sputtered, so... We're gonna have to redo the jetting a little bit. I'm gonna have to talk to the guys when we get there and figure out what's going on with the jetting, so... But, good to go. Everything sounds normal. That's a plus. Super responsive. Gotta love a big bore kit, man. It makes these things rad. All right, little update. Um, so I stopped at Kirkland's Motorcycles. That guy is unfortunately moving his shop. He cannot take on the job because he's getting ready to move his shop somewhere else. Uh, but he was super informational. I had a great time talking with Kirkland's Motorcycles. So if you guys get a chance, check them out. Um, I also just stopped at OTC Power Sports. Unfortunately, they're unwilling to take on Chinese drones because they built kind of a reputation for themselves. Um, and I understand that. He said when he first got started, he kind of took anything and everything to build a reputation. I get it. He doesn't work on Chinese scooters anymore. They're a pain in the ass. Anybody that's ever worked on a Chinese scooter understands they're a pain in the ass. So I get it. I called Charlie's Deep, uh, Scooter Depot and Charlie has accepted the work. So I'm currently driving over to Charlie's Scooter Depot. I'm gonna have a quick chat with him. We're gonna talk about a price, probably a shout out, see where things head, uh, end up. Anybody does good work, always gets a shout out from me. As long as you do good work, I don't care. I, I will give you a shout out all day. He has quite a reputation of being a hard ass. He's kind of like me, very blunt, very to the point. So I have a feeling I'm probably gonna get along very well with this individual. So uh, his reviews on Google are interesting to say the least. But like I said, so are my reviews on YouTube. People say I'm an interesting character, but if you get to know me, you know, shirt off my back kind of guy. So let's go talk to him. Let's see what's happening. We'll see if this is something we wanna step our foot into touch our foot in the water, see what it feels like. If I'm about it, it's getting left there. So, see you guys in a minute. There she is, unloaded behind me. She's taking the job. We've talked about uh, price, and now I'm getting out of here. I'm gone. I'm gone, man. <laughs> that was easy. You know how easy that was? That was simple. Now let's go find something to eat. I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything, and it's already like 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. Sucks. So he says he's either gonna call me today or tomorrow. So hopefully I get this back before I go down for surgery. That'd be super cool. All right, so I'm home now. We're waiting on Charlie to give me a call, tell me if he's gotta order parts or not, if I can pick it up today, if I can pick it up tomorrow, the day after, we'll see. Hoping to get it back before the 29th. That would be a, that would definitely be a plus if we can get it back on the road before then. So, wish me luck. Let's hope things go smoothly. You guys wanna say hi to Ham? Hey, dude. Hey, girl. What are you doing? Hi. What? Where are you going? Don't you want to say hi to the people? They're saying hi to you. Say hi to the people. She's not in a very talkative mood today, but I am. Anyways, catch you guys on the flip at TV. Good afternoon. Please give your attention to my associate, Agent J. He's going to demonstrate an electro-biomechanical neural transmitting zero synapse repositioner. We call it the Neuralizer. Keep it simple, Slick. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Agent K. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. 